everybody uh, thanks for watching my channel uh, I know it's been a while since I did a video about my truck but what we're looking at here is some of the things that I have bought for my truck and you're probably wondering a welding cart and a water hose well I wash my truck myself I um, suppose a lot of people do or wash their vehicles at home but I'm really getting into this after I've been watching a lot of videos and um, but there's one thing that I really hate is that when I do wash my truck, especially on a hot day, I tend to get water spots. So I've been doing a lot of research and to figure out what I can do that is best to get rid of those water spots. So I ended up buying this bionic steel water hose in addition, the welding cart. And you're like, what? Okay. So anyways, here we are. You're like, what the heck is this contraption? All right, well, this is a DI tank. This is what I use. I got the DI tank from this company right here. Um, let's see here, let me move this out of the way. And um, basically, it, you know, I ordered it and I think I paid $2.99 for it. And basically what it has is has resin beads inside the tank itself. And that's what filters and grabs all the hard water um, minerals. And then, and then it comes out clean. So um, it has a valve system here where you can actually um, uh, decide if you just want regular water or DI water. So it gives you an option here to either turn it off um, the clean water or and then have the regular water in the system. What I do is I don't use the DI tank for all the washing. I only use it to rinse at the very end. So after I wash the, the uh, truck, what I do is I scrub it down and everything and then I wash it with this regular spigot water. And then what I do is I rinse the truck right after that with the DI water and then I don't get any water spots so as for the cart this is a welding cart and it's perfect for my little setup it's got uh, hooks on there that I can put my you know my high pressure hose on there in addition to uh, my water spigot hose I got one of these um, hoses here is because it's really easy and it's light and it's not as heavy and it's durable and it's been working really well and that hose is will hook up to the spigot of the house and then that hose hooks into one of the entrance or the inlet of the di uh, tank and then from there it goes to through the tank gets clean and then it goes outside of the tank through this hose right here and then that hose goes right into my high pressure machine and it goes directly in there and then it comes out um, out of here into my high pressure hose and it goes all around there and then I use this gun um, so it's been working out really well um, these are I just keep all my products that I use for washing the car um, the truck and uh, this stuff is awesome, the Formula 4 um, spray wax. I use that right after I wash it and then I spray that on there and then I spray it off with the spigot water and then I use the DI water. So, um, and then I don't have no water spots. Um, a lot of people say if you use this, just this, um, without using DI, DI water, you're, you're not gonna get any water spots. I, I just don't. I didn't have good luck on that. I still get some spots, so, um, but using them as a combination, it works out great. So, the DI water and the Formula 4. So I highly recommend that. And then, uh, periodically, I use Bead Maker to, um, to uh, just kind of give another seal as far as wax. I don't do that all the time. Um, so, um, one thing I want to tell you is, right here where the water comes in from the spigot um, to make this tank last a long time um, this DI tank um, is by not allowing 
the pressure from the household pressure that you get it usually averages between 40 and 70 um, um, what that does is it wears down the resin and it won't last as long so you're not going to get as many washes that you you think you would get out of a tank uh, where it cleans the water for you somebody was uh, saying online about how you can decrease the, the gallons per minute through here by getting an adapter here. And that's right here is actually an adapter that I reduce the water flow to two, I think it's 1.5 gallons through here from the water spigot. And um, that will preserve the resin and still give me enough water to go through the high pressure hose machine. And it works out great because the high pressure um, water hose machine puts out 1.2 gallons per minute so I put this uh, reducer flow on here and it works out great and so that's gonna make my DI tank last a lot longer than it usually would because if you are just forcing that massive amount of flow of water in there and then it's just gonna wear this out quicker so it's gonna last longer as far as more washes so I had to go to Home Depot get all these little adapters to make this work and ended up working out so if you have any questions about this uh, connection stuff, I have all my uh, information. I'll put that, uh, I'll send it to you if you guys need that uh, to figure out what to use as far as figuring out. Um, because this company, um, they, they make this tank, they only bring the valves down here and then they leave these uh, mel ends on here and that's it. You don't get anything else except this one little uh, clear hose. And that's it. And you just got to figure out how to hook everything up. So I have all that information if you guys need it. Um, I got the, uh, the welding cart from Harbor Freight. In fact, it was on sale for $34. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it's easy to roll around. Um, and then the DI tank is not as light as what you think it might be because it's made out of fiberglass. It's got resin in there. So uh, plus water. Uh, left over from being used so it's pretty heavy so I wanted something to not only be um, um, stationary and also be able to move where I wanted to move without lifting it and that worked out good on this cart so it stayed I just put a little bungee cord on here and attached it to these little uh, inlets that the uh, the cart has and it works out and it holds the tank there and the weight itself will hold it in place there and normally this cart is for a welding uh, situation and they usually have tanks on this little platform there on the back side so it's perfect for this DI tank and uh, you know I just have all this stuff on here because this is stuff I use on the truck and uh, I keep all my mitts down below uh, right there and then the, the power cord for the high pressure sprayer and that's pretty much it really so I just wanted to share this with you. I'm going to be uh, uh, doing another video on my truck. I've done so much to it. Um, I put uh, side steps on it. And I put uh, a rear step to go up onto the back end of the, the uh, bed. Um, I actually put a hood scoop on the front. You know, it's all kinds of things. So I'm going to be doing a video on that. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. So um, it'll be coming out. I'm working on it now. Oh, one more thing is that um, in addition, I bought these things online on eBay, these uh, quick connect uh, for your hoses, and I put them here so you can just quickly just dismantle this if you need to, um, if you wanted to uh, take it off or if you wanted to do maintenance on here. Like every year, I'm planning on changing the resin on here, um, so I would need to take this tank off the cart. So quick connect we'll take all that stuff really easy and I can just pull this thing off and then I can change the resin and then put the tank back on so um, so I bought these I got them on eBay and I think I only paid like eight bucks for a set of four uh, so uh, it's pretty cool um, so anyways that works out good and uh, also uh, on that um, flow restrictor that I was telling you about this part right here is um, actually for a shower and um, so that you can reduce the water flow and be con you know conservative on the water well the company that I bought this from on um, I think it was Amazon 
they give you all these different flow um, adapters here and a little bag and each color means a certain amount of um, so like two gallons per minute um, 1.5 gallons per minute or even one gallon per minute so they give you all these different steps uh, or different flow uh, restrictors with your little adapter here and so right now I have um, I think I said 1.5 in there um, so and you can always up, the, up it to any size or any flow per minute if you want to. You can bring it up to, I think it's two and a half, two, two and a half gallons per minute. So, so it's a, called a flow restrictor and it comes with all the uh, gallons per minute adapters so that you can um, make an adjustment to whatever's best for you. But the lower the gallons per minute, the better that this DI tank is going to last. So. So I just wanted to share that with you. And then these little connectors here, I bought this little handle gun thing here for my sprayer because before my sprayer had a long wand and I didn't want that because when I put my um, foam cannon on there, it's really heavy when it's at the very end of the, uh, the, the handle. So I bought a shorter one and I think I only paid eight bucks on eBay and it comes with all these little nozzles um, with it. So, um, Thought that was cool so uh, let me know leave it in the comments and i'll send you all the information where i got all this stuff and or any questions about the di tank like i said i only paid 2.99 and that was uh plus shipping i think i no i think it was free shipping if anything it's over 200 dollars. so um and then i also got a coupon that i found online i just went uh, name of the company and then i said coupon and then it sent me to a site i ended up saying saving like 25 dollars off this i think i only paid like two hundred and sixty dollars for this thing so I thought that was really cool and one more thing about this company here is that um, I had ordered one of these um, tanks and they shipped it to me and they didn't put any packing material in there so what ended up happening was this got damaged the valve it got broken inside here inside the be uh, between the two valves and it was cracked and then this output was cracked right here on the thing and so basically what they did was they threw the thing inside of it um in this box all together while this tank was just moving around and it's pretty heavy and there was no packing materials not this wasn't wrapped up or anything like that and i'm not trying to you know thrash the company or say anything bad but i just wish they packed it better so that you know i didn't have to wait so long to get another one but I'd have to say they, they send one out right away, right after I called them and told them what had happened. And they send me a return label for the old one. And um, it took another week to get this, but it was worth it to wait, worth the wait because my setup is awesome and it works out great. And um, so, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share this uh, unit. And. Um, works out good so basically it just rolls around really easily and uh, here is the information as far as what welding cart I bought that's a Harbor Freight and then the hose it's the bionic steel it doesn't uh, kink or anything like that and it comes with a nozzle if you want to use it and it's a five-year warranty so I thought that was pretty cool and it's super light and it doesn't kink up or anything like that and it's perfect for my situation um because my spigot is not very far it's right here so that's where my spigot it's right next to the driveway so i only need the 25 footer and i just park my truck right here on the driveway and do all the uh washing and stuff like that so i just roll this back in the garage and it works out good all right hope you enjoy the video if you like uh, if you have any questions, again, just leave them in the comments and uh, hit the su uh, subscribe button and the like button. I would appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks for watching my channel.